Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Happy Friday everybody, hope everyone's having an amazing day. Um, I am so excited to be back here on YouTube. If you did not notice, I actually missed Tuesday's upload. Mm, oopsies. I had a video ready to go up, but I just really was not happy with it. And you guys know I'm very much a huge believer in quality over quantity. So thank you so much for allowing me to take a little bit of a mini break and work on today's video, which is really good and fresh. There is a really awesome and quite huge series here on YouTube on the BuzzFeed channel called Worth It. Basically, just in case you have not seen it, each different episode is focused on one individual food item and the BuzzFeed editors go to three different restaurants at three different price points and try out the food and talk about the overall vibe, the overall experience of eating it. And then at the end, they choose which one would be most worth it for the price of the food. Does that make sense? Yes. It does. Although I really do love watching somebody eat a $2 hamburger versus a $70 hamburger, for today's video, we're taking it one step further, and I thought it would be so much fun to do a worth it video on makeovers. I thought it would be so cool to kind of educate myself on the different realms of makeup artistry, so I booked three different makeup appointments with three very different artists at three very, very different price points. I think this video is going to be so much fun, and I'm sure I'm gonna look beautiful in all three different makeovers, but this is probably gonna be a pretty pretty long video and a very, very lengthy process of filming. So without further ado, let's get glam. All right, you guys, so we're currently on our way to the first makeover of the day. This one is going to be our most affordable makeover and we are headed to Ulta. They have over a thousand stores nationwide and they carry a ton of brands that you guys see me use every single day in my YouTube videos. And if you are a longtime sister, you will of course remember the Transformation series. I got my makeup done at Sephora, Ulta, and MAC a few months back. Wow, I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. And it was so much fun and the artist absolutely killed it. So I'm really excited to be going back today. It was very, very fun, super easy, and definitely extremely affordable, which is obviously the point of Ulta being first today. So I went ahead last night and booked an appointment online on ultabeauty.com. It was so easy to book it. I just put a note in and asked for their absolute best artist. I got approved and we are currently on the way. So without further ado, let's get glam. Good. You look Good All right, sisters. I am joined with my artist for today, Yadira. Hello, hey. sister. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet Do you, you. want to introduce yourself to them? Hey, guys. I'm Yadira, uh, working here at Ulta Beauty at Midtown Crossing. How long have you actually been working at Ulta for? Oh, since April, so it's a short amount of time. What? That's yes. only like a few months. <laughs> only a few oh months. Oh my god. I've been freelancing hair and makeup for about 12 years now, but I'm barely oh, getting back into it. Yeah. Okay, love that. Oh my god, so you yeah. took like a little break in the I middle. did, I did, absolutely. And I decided I want to follow my passion, and here I am. Oh my god, I love that. So that's yeah. literally so cool. I feel like Ulta is like a really good place to kind of be like that stepping stone. I agree. Do you know what you want to do next? I definitely want to have my own business and do hair and makeup out of like a studio setting. Yeah. And and also freelance for television right. and print. That's my favorite. And brides, like I love doing yes. bride makeup. Bridal makeup is so much fun so and very much. stressful, but a it is. Good time. It is stressful, but I love the fact that I could be a part of their memories, and that's like awesome for me because yeah. I, I, you know, you're you're interacting with them in a different level. Right. So, what do you really like about working like a retail store like Ulta and doing makeovers here? Uh, the fact that it's not just um, a salon in the store. Like you have so many brands. So many different types of people that are walking in here. You right. don't know what they're in here for, and you can pull them and you talk to them. And hey, you know we're we are a salon too. We do hair, we do right. makeup. You you know it's a one stop shop. You can even get facials here, which is awesome. <gasps> I didn't even know that. Yeah. Love that. Yeah, so a lot of the brands that you have laid out, like getting ready for our makeover today, mm -hmm. are actual brands that I use in all my YouTube videos, which is really cool. So I definitely feel like the end result is hopefully gonna look pretty similar to what my normal makeup would look like. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. But it's really awesome to see like so many brands represented, obviously, and then you get to use them in the actual makeover process as well. Absolutely. Are you ready to see the big reveal? I'm so ready. Bronzy for the red carpet. I'm ready. I hope you love it. I think I will. Oh my God. <gasps> yes. Yeah. Thanks. God, you killed it! Yes. Oh my God! 
Hello, I'm like red carpet ready. This looks so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, you sister. You are so welcome, oh, sister. I feel so beautiful and oh, glam and ready to go. Gorgeous. You're Thank gorgeous. Thank you for letting me bless your face today. It was so much fun. You're I the appreciate best. Oh my it. God. Well, you're, oh, I'm literally obsessed with her. Guys, go check Yachty out. I'm going to put her Instagram right here. Oh my God, I just made my own pop tag sound effect. Love that for me. <laughs> <laughs> and... That's it for this makeover. All right, guys, so that was our first makeover all complete. I am literally obsessed with Yadira, you guys. You all have to go support her on Instagram. She was literally so sweet. Our grand total came up to $60, but I did go ahead and tip her an extra hundred just to say thank you for all of her love and kindness, and her glam turned out literally amazing. She was using so many products that I usually use every day in my typical videos, which I think is a major, major bonus of actually getting your makeup done at one of these retail stores, like an Ulta or Sephora or MAC. You're getting products that you know are very, very high quality and that most of us as like makeup enthusiasts and lovers use every single day so I'm really happy with how the makeover turned out and I think the coolest part of the entire interview was how she was talking about kind of working a retail store being the stepping stone before having your own freelance business which is the perfect segue and transition because our second makeover today is going to be from a local MUA who runs a freelance business let's go ahead and meet him and get glam Again. All right, you guys, so we are back home and ready for the second makeover of the day. I just went ahead and wiped off my full face and makeup. And if you'll notice, we're actually, hello, back in the normal makeup studio because makeover number two is actually happening right here. And it is a house call with a local makeup artist. His name is Eros and he's actually a really, really good friend of mine. I think I found him on Twitter actually last year from his makeup work. He's super, super talented. And we've actually been really good friends ever since. He is a working freelance makeup artist here in the city of Los Angeles. And I booked a house call appointment with him today. So he should be here in a few short minutes. And I'm super excited for him to glam me. All right, you guys, we are currently sat down and I have my second special guest of the day. This is... Hi, sisters. <laughs> my name is Eros and I'm a 17-year-old makeup artist. So why don't you tell me a little bit about how you kind of got started into makeup, how your social media started, and now about working as a freelance artist. Sure. I mean, um, I started makeup two years ago. I think I was about 15, I would say. Love that. Beauty mm, voice at a young that. age. <laughs> and yeah, I started because I was very inspired, obviously, by people like you and like a bunch of male influencers and stuff like that. And I just thought like these guys being so confident and so like pretty, I mean, I want to be one of them, you know, so. Yeah, it's fun. Just kind of got into it. Kind of like my start on social media, you had a lot of posts go viral pretty early on. So you've kind of gained a little bit of a social media following yourself, huh? Yeah, I mean, I started off just doing like very like trying to be viral posts and then it kind of like led on to like more creative like stuff on myself. And now it's kind of led into like doing more client work, which I really like because I feel like I just really like making people feel more confident, you know? I have a lot more questions that I want to ask Eros throughout the process of this kind of glam transformation, but I think we should get started because it might be a little bit of a long process today. So first, we're just starting off with some moisturizer. I usually have my clients put this on themselves just because I feel like no one wants someone rubbing your face for like a long time. At least no one that's a stranger. So your kit is like pretty small for a traveling makeup brush. Yeah, you definitely, know, definitely have, it's it looks like you definitely light. have key products that work well for you and you like to stick to them. Mm -hmm. Very much the same way that I like to do my videos as well. So I'm sure you know, like when you first started doing makeup, it was very difficult to like build your kit and stuff. And right. I feel like I face the same difficulties now. I mean, it's a little better since I do get like stuff from PR, or, like stuff from gifts and things like that. Oh, because of the Instagram account? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, love that. Yeah, okay, so cool. I love that. Getting help from brands is always the best. But you know, since I'm barely still pretty small, I still have to buy a lot of these things out of my pocket. So it's like, sure, I want to have all the shades in the world of the foundation, but you know, like I just kind of Make sure I get the key ones. That to mix can, together. Yeah, right. exactly. A small kit, but a good kit that you know is going to work. Definitely. Love that. Okay, cool. So right before I start actually touching your face, I'm just going to put on some hand sanitizer. This is going to kill any like bacteria on my hands. Obviously, everything that we're using is clean, but just to make sure. And then I'm also going to eat a little mint and offer one to my client. <gasps> Would you yes, like please. one? Yes, please. And this will just make sure that we both have fresh breaths while being so close to each other. So Eros, would you say that being on social media and also doing client makeup has really like influenced the different styles you do, the different products that you use and the different techniques that you use as well? Oh, definitely. I mean, most of my inspiration for my client work comes from people like Mario and like Ariel. Like they're like my absolute inspos for life. I feel like that's very like what my thing is about. It's very like celebrity inspired makeup for the everyday consumer price. Yes. A lot of my work isn't very like luxurious i would say but it's definitely like the end result is trying to look as similar as it can right. to the celebrity without makeup. breaking the back so it's kind of like um get in there and do it fast but do it good you know it's not all about like the luxury and like using the most expensive right. things it's just like get it done right but well, would you say that influencers in general have really kind of i guess influenced your like makeup knowledge well, how uh, did you learn how to do makeup hmm 
I feel like I learned from watching, obviously, like, the OG, like, beauty male YouTubers and, like, Nikki tutorials and all those, like, my favorites, right? Right. So then afterwards, I started building on it, and I discovered my own style. I discovered that I'm not a big fan of color. Yeah. Unlike you. Right. Which, you love color. You, know? you would say you learned how to do makeup, like, from watching different YouTubers. Yeah. So no makeup school? No, 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 no. I feel like I definitely did want to go to like a makeup school. I was definitely like researching into it, but then I realized how expensive they actually are. Yeah. And like the age requirements to go to them and things like that. And it just like wasn't optimal. So I figured that like maybe I wouldn't do it professionally at the time, obviously, because I was just getting into it, you know, just for right. fun. So I just do it on my own and see what happens. And then I learn from like the various influencers or whatever. I feel like nowadays there are definitely a lot of YouTubers that are very into teaching their followers and things like that. And that's just like the best, you know, because right. they're there for people like me who want to get into it, but can't afford school or things right. like that. I mean, I learned how to do makeup from watching different YouTubers as well. And I never went to beauty school and I feel like I'm pretty good if I do say so myself. You're obviously extremely talented if I say so for you. <laughs> of course, at makeup school, they definitely do teach you like the proper sanitation and things like that. Like they teach you like the very like chemical, I'd say, aspect of makeup, but they don't teach you like the creative aspect in the sense that like they can't teach you to look at something differently. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because the truth is you really can't teach someone passion and talent, you know? Right. Even as like a beauty influencer, I've gotten this because so many people always are like, oh, you did this wrong. Like a certified makeup artist would never do that. It's like, okay, and I look amazing. So like, what are yeah, you gonna like, do about it? Like, I do think makeup school is very, very valuable, but some people literally seem to believe that you need that piece of paper to validate you as an actual artist, which is so far from the case because I mean, you're either talented or you're not. Mm -hmm. I still feel that if I did have the opportunity to go to like school for makeup, I'd definitely take it just because, I mean, why not? You can learn something from everyone, I feel, yep. you know? There's definitely a major shift going on in the industry. And although there are a lot of really, really valuable lessons in school, like sanitation and like how to treat a client, I definitely think with the proper care, if you're truly passionate about it, you can learn those things um, on your own. Yeah, no, definitely agree. Are we done? Yeah. <gasps> All done. Sister, I feel the most beautiful ever. You look the most beautiful ever. I need to go take ever. Instagram pictures right now. Definitely oh my god, thank do. you for glamming me no today. Problem. You're literally so sweet and thank you for coming all the way over here as well. You guys, I'm gonna leave all of Eros's links down in the description box go down me. below. Go follow him, go book him. Definitely. So talented. That. Hello. All right, sisters, that is our glam formation number two. Two. <laughs> All complete, Eros literally killed it. I feel so beautiful right now. The grand total for this full makeover, including lashes and this being a house call, he came here, was $120, which I feel like is a very, very reasonable price for everything that I got. I feel literally so beautiful right now. Listening to Eros about being a small Instagram influencer and really just trying to make his way into the world was so inspiring to me because it's very much reflective of my journey. He used so many products that I use in my everyday makeup routine as well, which is so incredible. And even though he didn't go to makeup school, he was very, very serious about sanitation, taking his time, making sure every single step was perfect. I thought it was so cool as well talking to him about who inspired him to start doing makeup in the first place, being a lot of different makeup influencers, but also a lot of celebrity influencers he really looks up to as well, which is a perfect segue transition because we still have one last glam formation to do. Number three, the highest price point. So let's go get glam for a third time. My skin is crying. All right, you guys, we are here and ready for transformation number three, and I am going with a living legend. Hi guys, I'm Patrick Ta. <gasps> ah, I'm so excited for this transformation. In case you guys do not know who Patrick Ta is, he's a celebrity makeup artist, and he is here to give me a full glam transformation. Do you want to tell them a little bit about yourself? Um, so I have been living in Los Angeles for four and a half years now, and i um, been doing celebrity makeup for about, I guess, three and a half years. I started off doing like bridal makeup, and I started doing um, just like makeup for events and stuff, but now I strictly do celebrity makeup and um, So you moved into that world really quickly after only doing makeup for about a year, huh? Well, honestly, like social media has been such a like big help in my right. career and obviously probably yours as well And yeah. um, most most of my clients actually find me on social media. So props to Instagram. Yeah, literally the best Love that. Well, I'm so excited for this information today. Um, I booked Patrick. He is here He has his full kit laid out in front of me. You have the most products I've ever seen ever. Really? I mean, I feel like I have yeah. so little. I mean, like the other kits that I've seen when makeup artists bring on set, like they have like these huge Birkin um, bags, <laughs> and I have two little like Ramoa bags. They're definitely heavy and like they're jam packed. Yeah. Olivia, my assistant, she like is so good at um, organizing everything. So Love yeah, so you have an assistant here tonight. Do you want to come say hi, Olivia? <laughs> say hi. Hi. So how long have you been helping Patrick out for? Um, I've been helping Patrick for like 
four months now. Love that. Yeah. So like, are you working makeup artist as well, or is that like the goal in the future? Yeah. That's so cool. So you literally have an assistant on all your shoots with you as well. Yeah, I have someone with me every single day. That's the best. Love that. And honestly, it makes the job like that much easier. So everything is more organized. Everything is ready to go. And like sometimes, mostly for like red carpets, if I can't be there, um, she'll be there to like touch you up or right. um, like before you leave or if you need to touch up throughout the day. That's awesome. So how I always always start off my my clients. I'm super into like skin prep. I'm actually gonna have you. Um, Exploit your skin Ooh, first okay. just so there's no like okay. dead skin on your face and so that foundation just lays nice and smooth Okay, BRB kitty girls. <laughs> We're back. So I'm gonna start off by just prepping your skin The number one thing I always notice in your work is always your client's skin I've noticed too it always looks like they're not really wearing a whole lot of makeup on their skin So honestly like I love doing both like styles of makeup. I love like super glam. I love like super natural So I always want to like ask like how like the client likes her makers that whatever makes like them feel comfortable because it's right. Obviously it's like he or he is the one that is gonna have to um Live with photos. <laughs> right. So the oil that I'm putting on is this Le Mer oil. I'm just putting it on basically the perimeter of the face. And then a little bit of moisturizer. So this is the soft cream. Um, I love putting on moisturizer just because I think that definitely it just helps foundation like look a lot smoother. This year for um, the Met Gala, we had I think five hours to get ready and we were still late. And who did you do for the Met Gala? I did Gigi this year for the Met Gala. Well, speaking of Miss Gigi, would you like to bribe for a second and tell the sisters about your very impressive clientele list? Um, well, Gigi is actually, she was one of my first clients in Los Angeles, so. Really? Yeah, she, oh my God. she honestly has helped my career so much. Ariana Grande. I just started working with Rihanna, so I am- No way! Oh my god, that's everything! Congratulations! Thank you. I got another client that I owe so much um, to is Shay Mitchell. I love Shay. Honestly, I learn so much from my clients because all these girls that I work with are constantly getting makeup by the best of the best. So like, they know how their faces look like and they know like, what looks best on them and things like Rihanna and Gigi and Shay, like, can do their makeup perfectly by themselves. That's good, yeah. Well, that's what happens when you have a really talented artist teaching them along the way. So Patrick, did you actually go to cosmetology school before working as a makeup artist, or did you work at a counter, or like? No, I just worked at a makeup counter. I, I feel like that's honestly like the best way to learn because you're constantly having to do new faces, and I started working at MAC as a freelance artist, and from there, I definitely learned from like the people around me. When I first started my career, I never like assisted anybody which I highly recommend. I think it's really awesome that even as a celebrity makeup artist, you can like stand here and still like want to learn more and want to expand your horizons and your knowledge. Like that's, I think really cool because we can always learn more and there's always like new techniques we picked up on and everybody has like different things that they like to do. It's so cool because like even at the beginning when you first started, you asked me about where I was going, what the lighting would be like. And I was like, okay, Patrick, it's just for a video. But <laughs> the no, fact that you asked me no, is yeah. so cool and it's important because yeah, it shows yeah. like celebrities have to be in good lighting. We have to look at from different angles. It has to coordinate with whatever outfit we're wearing. You know what I mean? And that's something that you only kind of think to ask when you're working with those type of clients who that stuff actually matters with, you know? No, yeah, so like, like whenever I am starting off makeup, like I wanna know like what what like the color of like the background of like the of the stepping repeat is. If there's gonna be shade on top of the, the red carpet or if it's just like outside. Outside red carpet makeup is the worst. I hate it. I oh, want, it's so bad. I love when there's shade so then like when the flash hits hits their face, it just looks like flawless and, and it, it bounces. Yeah, it bounces off. If someone wanted to book you for a makeover like this or a celebrity client, what would the price tag be? So the thing is, it's always different. So sometimes like a do and go will be anywhere from two to 3,000. I mean like, yeah, I feel like it is very easy to look at a number like $3,000 for makeup and look at it and be like, huh. there are so many things that actually come with booking a celebrity artist. Like you said, you're available all day long. You have an assistant with you helping you out. You have literally the biggest kit I've ever seen to create any look at all times. And this kind of goes back to what we were saying earlier with like the lighting situation. Celebrities have to look good. It is yep. literally Their job. celebrity's job and influencer's job to look good. 
and to present well and to photograph well. And so many people don't understand that that is a huge part of our job. It's that's the biggest part of my job is looking pretty on camera. Hello. Yeah. So it's kind of the security of paying someone that you know and trust to make you feel confident and beautiful and to also photograph well for red carpet and for um, press. I hope all the sisters and everybody else kind of was able to get a little bit of like an inside scoop on this crazy world and what goes into painting and making some of the most recognizable faces on the planet beautiful because it's it's a crazy world that not a lot of people know about. It is a crazy world. Do you like your lips lined a certain way? Yes, okay, so I usually like them overlined just slightly. But I love I keep exactly normal. For the cute as well, I like to make it like as like round as possible. I don't like definition I keep as well. Are you ready? We're ready. Ready? Oh my god. I look the prettiest. Are you into it? Yeah, my skin looks like perfect. Oh wow. It's like a little glowy, little dewy. Oh but my god, the still... lashes are so pretty. Wait, that the individuals, oh my god, they look the best. It literally looks the best in the entire world. Oh, thank you for thank having you. me, sister. Thank you. Oh thank my you for god. having me right Of now. course. All right, sisters, oh my god. Three days later, that is all three transformations all complete. Starting off, our first transformation was at Ulta with our artist Yadira, and our total was $60. Then I had a house call with Eros MUA, a freelance makeup artist, and our total was $120. And then finally, my face was beat to the gods by Patrick Ta, celebrity makeup artist, and our total was $3,000. Although all three looks came out very differently with very, very drastic price points, I had literally so much fun being glammed by all three different artists and I truly felt so beautiful and confident in each one and each experience was amazing in their own different way. I really loved the first transformation because obviously it was very, very affordable, which I know is gonna be amazing to all of you guys out there who are watching who wanna get glammed and she was just really, really passionate about what she was doing. It was so cool to hear her story about how she's been doing makeup for so long but actually lost her love for a few years ago and recently just moved back to California to pursue it as a career and really wants to work as a freelance artist one day. I think working at a retail counter is a really amazing stepping stone to actually getting your foot into the makeup community because let's be real, this industry is very, very crowded and you have to have a lot of talent to make it, but I definitely think that a retail store where you're working with a lot of different artists and you're getting to use really amazing products and meet new clients all the time is an amazing place to do that. I also had so much fun working with Eros, who is our second freelance artist. He came here on a house call, which of course is extremely convenient being that I'm lazy and don't want to go places and I really like being in my own home, but it's also super handy if you're in a rush or if you're running late to an event, especially living here in Los Angeles where there's really crazy traffic that can make you very, very late for a red carpet. I will say Eros's kit was pretty small, but he was talking about how being a freelance makeup artist, it is very, very expensive to buy a ton of new products all the time. And hey, if you can make it work with just a little bit, that's amazing. I mean, that's kind of what I do in my YouTube videos. You guys see that I don't really switch up my products that often and I do that because what I have really, really works. So props off to him for knowing what works best for his clients. I was really excited to watch Eros work and super pumped to see the finished products. And I will say that out of the three different looks, Eros's look was probably the closest to what my version of bronzy red carpet glam would look like on me. Not saying that his look was the best because all three looks were absolutely amazing, but I think his look came out very similar to how mine would, being that like he was telling us in the video, he kind of learned how to do makeup from actually watching different influencers like myself and watching some of the artists that he looks up to, which I literally think is so cool. And it's an option that a lot of different makeup artists are going to nowadays because makeup school can be so incredibly expensive and a lot of different gurus are really working hard to put out educational content on YouTube, which I think is so amazing. The grand total came to $120, which yes, of course, is a little bit pricier than Ulta, but you're paying the convenience fee for their travel. You're paying for lashes. You guys know they can be very, very, very expensive. You're paying for someone that you know is gonna make you look good based on their Instagram profile and you're supporting a local business which is always an absolutely amazing thing to do and last but finally not least we had our luxury celebrity transformation by living legend himself Patrick Ta his list of celebrity clientele is very 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 impressive and while yes he does come with a very very high price tag I will say that I think the price tag very much matched the quality of makeover and experience that I received today first you're paying for their time because these celebrity makeup artists are usually booked and traveling all around the world doing celebrities almost every single day like I was saying planning this video was literally an absolute disaster and so many people canceled on me which was neither fun nor fresh so shout out to Patrick for coming through but yes they are very 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 busy people working with also a very 
very, very, very busy people, so I don't blame them. Second, you're paying for their products. Patrick used very, very expensive products and took a super great care of them. The third thing that you're paying for, and in my opinion, probably the most important, is comfort. And I know that that may seem like a little bit of a weird thing to factor into a makeover, but if you really think about it, it actually makes perfect sense because if you really strip away everything and all the glitz and glam, a celebrity's job is to be a public figure in front of millions of people and to look really good while doing it. All of these makeup artists, like Patrick Ta or like Mario or like Ariel, have a very, very small, exclusive, and loyal list of celebrity clientele that continue to book them time and time and time again, no matter what the project is. And yes, of course, that's because they have amazing kits, they've been well trained, they know how to be sanitary, they know how to hold conversation, but. Overall, Shay Mitchell or Rihanna can book Patrick Ta or Kim Kardashian can book Mara Dedovanovic and by the time the makeup is done, they can comfortably and confidently walk onto that red carpet knowing that every single photo taken is going to be absolutely perfect. We've all had really bad photos taken of us at some point and as soon as it happens, we wanna delete them literally right away. I mean, hello, me, Flashback Mary. But when you're walking a red carpet and there's hundreds of paparazzi taking your photo, you can't delete those photos and you're not really in control of them. And if you take a bad photo at a bad angle or your makeup looks busted, that photo very well could end up on the cover of a magazine the next year or a newspaper. $3,000 may seem like a very, very high price tag to pay for a glam makeover, but for celebrities who are some of the biggest names in the entire world and also some of the richest people in the entire world, it's a very small price to pay, in my opinion at least, for comfort and confidence and to avoid a scandalous photo and millions and millions of people sharing their opinions, usually all of which are pretty nasty. <laughs> All right, you guys, I think that is all I have for this video today. I've had so much fun filming this over the past few days, and I truly feel like I learned so much from three very, very different artists who are all so talented. I will say I felt very, very comfortable and confident in all three makeup looks. I think they all absolutely killed it, and I'm gonna leave all those social media links down below. Please go show them the sister support. Speaking of sister support, if you guys enjoyed this video today, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below. It would mean so, so, so much to me. And as well, definitely leave me a comment down below and tell me which out of the three makeup looks was your favorite. If you have not already, don't forget to click that big red subscribe button down below and come join the sisterhood. It is a pretty lit time and we are so close to 7 million subscribers. Oh my God. Come join and click the bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload a brand new video. If you'd like to follow me on my makeup journey, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. They're both just James Charles. And my Snapchat for more behind the scenes type stuff is James Charles with an extra S after Charles. This video's sister shout out goes to sister Tori. Thank you so much for me for always following and supporting. No, I love you literally so, so, so much. And if you'd like to be the next video's sister shout out, don't forget to always retweet my video links when they go live on Twitter. All right, sisters, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you loved it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!